And just one of the things I'll be showing is this process called join up, where you communicate with the horse in his own language. It, it gets the horse to see you as the safety zone. And it's a really good starting point to working with a horse. It does not mean the horse is now hypnotized. It does not mean the horse is now going to do everything you say. Uh, it does not mean if the horse, uh, it doesn't mean the horse isn't going to be frightened of anything anymore. But what it does mean is that he's going to give you more of a chance. He's going to see you as more as a protector. So it, it can really help a lot. If you use this process of join up, if it's going to work to its full effect, it generally works within about four goes at join up. If, it, if, if it's not right for that horse, then just doing join up over and over again isn't going to make any difference. It would be like you and your partner going for counseling every single day. You'd get sick of it. You know, try something else if that's not working. So, but it is a way, I hope you're going to see how the horses understand the communication that I work with. So, one of the points that I'm making now as well, because I teach the join up process, obviously a lot in England, is that how valuable learning join up is, is to the human being. Because if you can do a join up, even if you're not using it like this in the round pen, it proves quite a number of things. It proves that you've got your timing right. When we communicate with horses, our timing is one of the main ways that we get our message across. We've only got to be half a second out, and it can totally mix the message up. Uh, it proves that we understand about our body language. It improves that we understand about our eye contact. These things are all essential to get the results that you want from horses, some of them just on the ground, but some of them with riding as well. It also, it also proves that you can control your emotions, because if you get terribly nervous and uptight, it does affect the horses. Now, sometimes we're going to get a bit nervous, and Monty says, oh, keep your pulse rate low. And I used to think, how do you do that? Just get low, you know? But what it, it's actually through your breathing. So sometimes, even if we are a bit nervous, we don't have to be upset with ourselves, but we have to know how to breathe, and sometimes we have to just be good actors or actresses, because I think we can fool horses, but we need to move in a certain way, walk in a certain way, so that they feel that we're their strong leader. Now, I'm going to work, as I say, with three horses, two horses that I've, no, three horses that I've never met before tonight that are all real fear cases. But as usual, I've brought an old horse from England with me because I want to show the join up process very slowly so that you can understand it before you, you see the, the nice horses. Now, I apologize about this horse. He is a bit lame. He's old. We've, frankly, we've got him on drugs and things to try and make him look a bit better. I know some people disapprove of that, but you know, what am I going to do with him otherwise? I mean, if anyone, if anyone will give me a good home for him, I'd be grateful, really, you know. <laughs> he, still, he still has a little bit of life left in him, but you know, somebody might get another year or two out of him. Well, thank you, Rosie. Super. He's... Okay, good, good. Oh, okay, I'll just show you something very quickly. This is important. Dog trainers do this as, as well. I'm not, when Monty has a horse that's very strong, he'll do that. And Monty's strong and he can stop a horse. I can't. I have to redirect the energy. So if, if he just walks past me again, I'll turn and I'll do this. And what will happen is he'll find himself behind me. See how that works? Good boy. You have, you know, especially as females, many, I know there's men up there as well. <laughs> now, no bonding with him, no, down. Um, but we have to, we can't just work on strength. So we have to, as I say, redirect energy, do work in different ways. So with this join up process, I don't want you to do it with any horse but a nice, um, horse that's halter broken and safe. I'm not encouraging you to do things that aren't safe. Have a nice enclosed um, area so it's all safe. And what I'm going to do, 
is Monty Roberts learned this process by watching horses in the wild, how they interact with each other. I'm going to unclip, and if he wants to go away, I'll say, OK, go away, and then we'll, we'll, I'll show you what I do and how we look for the signs. So I'm going to step back, careful not to... Un and there he's gone, you see. OK, so I say to... Now he's, he wants to go away, and now he's being kind of lazy about it, so I'm going to push him on. And to send the horse away, it's really important that I look him directly in the eye. This is to send a horse away, OK? Looking in the eye, square shoulders behind the horse. In other words, this is how not to catch your horse. You do 